Okay, hi, good evening, everyone. I hope we are live. Uh, just let me know if you guys can hear me and see me very clearly in the chat. All the folks who are in the chat, I um, mean, I'll just add my screen as well. Just give me a minute. Yep. I hope now you guys can see my screen as well. Right. A quick, quick confirmation if uh, everything is visible. Right. Great. Great. Thank you, Sachin, for that confirmation. Okay. So first of all, a very warm welcome and a very good evening. Uh, I'm Prasad, one of the core team members at Let's Upgrade. And uh, I welcome you all to another bootcamp program. And this time we are doing something different. Uh, like we have studied a lot of programming languages uh, prior. This time we have come up with the Luca Studio. I do not know how many of you are aware about this tool, but this tool can be a lifesaver. This tool can be very beneficial for you guys uh, while you're working with Excel or for that matter, any database to make dashboards and everything, right? And uh, this is where this uh, tool is going to come. This was previously named something else. If you guys know what was it called before, uh, let me know in the chat if you guys know its previous name. Now it is called Luca Studio. It was called something else prior to this. I want you guys to find the name and uh, tell what it is, right? So before we start off with the sessions, uh, I'd like to take a few minutes of yours and uh, take you through a tour of what you guys have to do uh, in order to get the certificate and complete this program successfully. First of all, all the newcomers, all the students who are joining Let's Upgrade for the first time or, or are, uh, watching this for the first time with us, please go and subscribe to get more updates. Second thing is there are only three important steps to complete the program and get your certificates. The very first thing is to go and enroll to make sure that you are a part of this program. The second important thing to do is attend the sessions and mark your attendance. And the third thing is get certificates, right? So I'll tell you how that whole, whole thing happens. So if you see, right, if you just scroll down into the description of the YouTube video, right, I'm just going to open that for you. This is how it looks like. And there's a link uh, called as all-in-one documentation. So I'm going to just copy the whole link for you guys and put it in the chat. Just a minute. So this documentation is going to be one place. I'm putting the full link as well in case the shortened link uh, does not work, right? So what you guys have to do is basically open up this link. Uh, let me just open. Now, once you open this link, right? You're going to land on a page, something like this, a notion doc. Now this doc is basically the go-to place for everything that happens in the program. So all the lecture links are here. The curriculum that is going to be covered in the program is going to be here, right here for your uh, usage, right? Now let's come back. And if you see, right? Yeah. First of all, if you want to be a part of a student ambassador program on exciting prizes and swags, you can join that. You can check that whole thing. That's a separate page for that. Coming back to the first very important step is to go and enroll. So as I mentioned, the very important step number one for you guys to do is to go and enroll. Just click on this link and this should take you to a page to let you log in. If you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in. Just continue with your email. Uh, or if you don't have an account, create an account or do Google login. And once you are once your account is created, it will ask you to enroll. So just enroll it. And yeah, that's it. You are now enrolled into the program. Now you are a registered student for this particular program, right? Now, again, the same thing here. This is the web, web portal. Now, as I mentioned, the first thing is what to enroll. The second is to mark attendance. Now, where do you mark your attendance? So if you just go to the schedule and zoom in, if you see this option, right? Mark attendance, it will ask you the rating. Now, However you enjoyed the session, be it bad, be it good, just be very candid with your feedbacks. If you liked it, put a 10. If you did not like it, even by a single bit, you can give any, any of these. But yeah, if you are giving anything below than 10, please make sure that you let us know what went wrong so that we can go and improvise on that. Right, for now, I'm going to give it a 10 and then I'm going to say nothing. And I'm going to mark my attendance in the lecture is live. My attendance in the live lecture is marked. Again, I can watch, go here after this lecture is done, the recordings would be there on the YouTube. So you can go from here and watch the program and complete it. Now, step number one done, step number two done. Now the last thing is to get the certificates, but how do you get the certificates, right? If you see, right, you have a program progress, uh, program, uh, program progress bar here. Just click on this. And you will see a pop-up which says that your progress will be based on the parameters, attendance and assignments. Currently, I don't think there are going to be any assignments, but if there are any, it would be informed by the trainer. 
now your certificate is going to be available after the last day of the class starts that is day after tomorrow 6 30 and if your progress is more than 50 percent so basically you can wait till the program is over and if you mark it and mark all the day att attendance and you can get the certificates the option would be available right here uh somewhere here bill after the besides the progress bar download certificates if you have any if you have any doubts if you want to chit chat with your fellow members you can join our telegram uh, community right we are very soon coming up with our discord community as well for you to interact and gain points uh for an, all the notifications of upcoming programs or what is happening with let's upgrade you can join our whatsapp channel as well and communities as well and if you want to refer in on lu coins uh again we are very soon launching a store where you can get swags uh which you can claim with this points so you can refer and earn coins there right so that's about it and just to show you how your certificates are downloaded i'm just going to yes i'm going to go to this postman program and if you see right since my progress is 100 percent i have an option called download certificate i just have to click on this put my details and download the certificates right i hope the whole process is clear now this is one way the second way is just head over to let's upgrades website if you're directly coming from the website just select the program that you want for example this program and go and enroll right and it should basically be the same thing again now the whole process can be done both the ways now coming back to the doc in case you did not understand what if, if you missed out on anything that i mentioned or did not understand very clearly and if you would like to get more detailed information about the whole process come back to the doc again we have a step-by-step -step process to complete the program everything i mentioned right now is documented here with proper screenshots and proper links for your usage right you can check this document get a uh, get uh, used with the system so that the whole learning experience becomes seamless for you right so that would be all from my my side and i hope uh, you enjoy the session let me just go back and check the doubts yeah i hope everything is clear for everyone who is watching this uh, so with that let me call the trainer shivam uh, singh is going to be instructor for the whole 3 days i uh, was going to teach you luka studio right so let me just take him in hi shivam how are you hi prashant i'm fine how are you all all good all good so guys uh, shivam uh, is a wonderful trainer he has done uh, many many sessions with us trained a lot of students and i hope uh, the next 3 days are going to be fun uh, so try to get as much as knowledge uh, out ask queries ask sensible questions do not spam the chat uh, respect the whole uh, session right and yeah have fun i'll see you guys towards end over to you shivam yeah thank you so much prashad uh, for uh, this interaction okay guys so uh, yeah as as uh, as prashad had already uh, discussed a lot of things about uh, about uh, the program and uh, where we, this is going to be an interesting one because uh, maybe this is going to be a new uh, like a tool for you uh, which is uh, looker studio so from today we are going to explore it we are going to uh, discuss like uh, how we can utilize the looker studio of, of how it can be useful for you and uh, what kind of uh, what kind of a case study or what kind of a real world problems uh, you can solve by using uh, this uh, this particular tool okay so let me share my screen first and then we'll start uh, we'll start uh, like our discussion on it so yeah guys now uh, so let's try to understand. Uh, uh, so let's start with the very first day. Uh, like, uh, what what are all the things we are going to discuss? Uh, like uh, in today's uh, like a session. So we first uh, going to uh, discuss. Uh, we first going to uh, take an overview. Uh, the introduction, like what is Alper Studio, and how you can uh, utilize it. Uh, one second, guys. Uh, let me open uh, like your chat as well. Yeah, everyone, guys. Uh, good evening to all of you. Yeah, definitely on a Google itself. Uh, so we are going to first uh, discuss like uh, uh, what is our Luca Studio. Uh, we are going to discuss about uh, like we are going to get the introduction of it. Uh, after this, uh, we are going to uh, discuss uh, like uh, how to connect uh, like our Google Studio, uh, how, how to connect our Luca Studio uh, like with different data sources means how we can import the data over there. And uh, because uh, if I want to do any kind of a uh, like analysis or if I want to do uh, if I want to get any kind of insight so we need, must need a data for it so we need to understand that how we can 
connect the data and what kind of a data uh, we can import uh, on a Google uh, on a, on a Looker Studio. Then we'll see that how we can uh, do some basic reporting, how we can uh, like create some charts, how we can do uh, like some basic stuff with a local studio. And then uh, we discuss about uh, like what are the dimensions and matrices. And that's all we are going to discuss uh, like uh, today, guys. Okay, so uh, again, uh, uh, it's it's a very simple uh, like a uh, thing. Uh, you don't need to install any uh, like a uh, library for it. You don't need to install any uh, like a uh, particular uh, uh, like a uh, software for it. You can do it or uh, into your uh, like a uh, Google uh, itself. Okay. So once again, guys, uh, uh, this particular uh, like a uh, tool is going to be a uh, uh, like a uh, simple and uh, anyone can easily uh, like understand it. Anyone can easily build it and. Uh, uh, uh like uh, uh just like uh, any other uh like a uh, tools or any other uh, uh any other uh, like a uh, software we don't need to uh like a uh, pay or uh, like any uh any any uh like money for it okay so that's uh, uh that's the reason uh we, we should explore uh, like a uh, google studio uh, sorry look at studio so uh, uh first if i talk about like what is a look studio and why we are actually learning it uh, because uh, it is very important to get the motivation for uh, like anything before uh, before we start our journey. So if I talk about uh, Luca Studio, so it's a it's a modern uh, it's it is actually a tool or it is actually a platform which we can utilize to do the data analysis. Uh, a data analysis simply means that if uh, if I want to get any insights, if I want to get the hidden information from the data set. So that is where we can utilize a Looker Studio. Okay, so Looker Studio can help us to uh, build a beautiful graphs. It can help us to build a beautiful charts. Uh, so we can actually analyze our data uh, in, in a table, in a charts, in form of a graphs. And uh, we can understand that uh, what may be going on inside a data set. Okay, so let's say if anyone running uh, like an e-commerce website, like a Flipkart or like a Amazon, or let's say even if you uh, if you have your own YouTube channel and if you want to see that uh, uh, how well your YouTube channel is going on, what kind of uh, likes you're getting, uh, uh, like uh, how your monetization is going on. So yes, if you analyze all those numbers, if you want to play with your numbers, so yes, you can you can use a uh, Google Studio over there. Okay, so Google Studio will will help you to analyze like how your progress is going on, uh, like uh, how your uh, uh, how, how good you uh, how well your uh, like a youtube channel is going on in terms of monetization in terms of likes in terms of comments in terms of each and everything okay similarly if uh, if if you have if you are running any e-commerce website or if you're running any e-learning platform and if you want to see that how uh, like your e-learning platform is going on uh, whether uh, it is uh, like uh, making a progress year by year day by day month uh, like month by month so yes, you can observe all those things with our uh, different charts. So for each and every purpose, for each and every, uh, to to observe each and every scenario, there are different charts. There are different graphs for it, and uh, you can actually utilize it with the help of uh, Looker Studio. Okay, so yes, at, as it is written over here that uh, it's a modern data exploration and visualization platform that plays a pivotal role in reliefs of data analysis and business intelligence. So with the charts or with, with the graphs which you are going to get with that, uh, with, with the help of that, you can actually uh, make a good decision for a future. You can make a, a, a better decision for a future. And based on that decision, definitely you can uh, you can make more profit. You can make more growth in uh, like upcoming days. OK, so that is where uh, like Google Studio uh, will help you. And that's the reason we are actually learning it. OK, so it's not uh, like a platform. It's not a tool that can be utilized only for uh, like a people who are who are running some kind of businesses. But yeah, it is for everyone who are working into this industry. Uh, it is actually for you or uh, and even me. If I'm if I have my own uh, like a platform, if I have my own uh, like a YouTube channel, if I have my own, even if I want to uh, like uh, if I want to analyze any of my social media platforms. So yes. I can use uh, like a Looker Studio over there, and I can analyze like how well uh, I'm performing, how well uh, my things are going on onto the social media web social media platforms. Okay, so fine, guys. Uh, that's uh, that is uh, like a, a simple introduction of uh, like a Looker Studio, 
and as i've told you that it is uh, like a pre free of cost so you don't need to uh, like pay anything for it uh, definitely there's a paid version also like uh, for do some uh, like maybe advanced thing we need uh, uh, we need to pay something but yeah as a beginner or uh, as a intermediate of uh, like to do the exploration at a beginner level or at an intermediate level we even don't need to pay anything we don't need a like advanced version we can do our task at least at this level we can do it on a free version itself okay so fine let's uh, let's go ahead let's try to understand uh, okay one one second so let's try to understand uh, like uh, uh, like what are all the things uh, what are all uh, uh, the purposes where i can utilize uh, like a looker studio so yes uh, it is actually having a intuitive interface okay so uh, uh, you can see looker studio provides a user friendly drag and drop interface okay so uh, guys uh, uh, it is actually uh, you can actually create a kind of a dynamic dashboard a dynamic report you can create uh, so any uh, like any uh, like a user uh, maybe any uh, uh, like first time user can easily understand uh, like uh, your things can easily understand uh, 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 like I uh, uh, understand your report okay so whether it uh, whether the report is uh, uh, is calculation oriented or whether the report uh, consider a lot of mathematics but uh, anyone can easily understand it even uh, they don't have any idea about uh, the uh, maybe uh, maybe a complex calculation but they can easily understand it because uh, because of uh, this uh, like a dynamic nature okay so there's a drag and drop interface there is a uh, like a, 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 like you can actually we can actually uh, build a report and uh, uh, the report uh, we can actually design in such a way that it will be a dynamic one so it is just like uh, if anyone wants to utilize it, if anyone wants to understand it, um, maybe for a different purposes. So yes, uh, they can use it. Okay. Uh, then yeah, it it actually provides you uh, flexible data modeling. So uh, if uh, like uh, if if you want to uh, like uh, if we have have a large data set and if you want to work. Uh, like in a team uh, okay so multiple uh, like members are, are are like into your team and if you want and everyone have their own task everyone have uh, like have their own uh, like uh, 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 like uh, have, have given some charts to design so yes everyone can uh, like uh, create their own chart and at the end you can try to uh, merge it you can try to uh, uh, like uh, join it and uh, you can actually see the magic okay so these are all the purposes where uh, like uh, you can use uh, like a Lucid Studio. So uh, it can be used for visualization. It can be used for modeling. It can be used for uh, making chart, graphs, maps, tables. And at the end of the day, you can also share, share with your friend, share with your client, share. Uh, so whatever the reports you have created, if you want to share that report with your client, uh, with the, any uh, like other uh, like a team member or with the uh, uh, with your uh, maybe a uh, team leader so yes you can share that report uh, uh flexible uh, like uh, in a very smooth way uh smoothly you can share that uh, report uh like uh, to them okay without any uh without any uh like uh, uh like issue or without any problem okay uh then yeah uh, a few more points for uh like just just for uh like uh where uh it can be utilized for data analysis and business intelligence so yes uh, it will actually help you to make uh, uh, a better decision for a future so uh, like uh, whatever the charts whatever the insights you derive from uh, like a data it will actually help you to, to optimize uh, like a business operation to make uh, like a more growth and at the, at the same time it can help you to mitigate uh, like the risk effectively okay so if uh, there is any risk if you if you if you observe that uh, maybe uh, like if, if maybe any uh, like upcoming risk so yes you can avoid that particular risk you can uh, reduce the chances of uh, like a damage you can reduce the chances of loss uh, because you uh, 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 because you already analyze the data you already un you already understand that there may be uh, like some risk in uh, like a near future okay so all these things uh, you can actually achieve with the help of uh, like a looker studio with the help of a charts or with the help of a graphs whatever you are going to build it okay so at the end of the day i can simply say that it's it's a, it's a great business intelligence tool and 
definitely guys uh, that uh, it is not like that uh, this is the very first business intelligence tool but yeah it is one of the belt and it is uh, it is uh, definitely in upcoming days this particular tool is uh, going to be uh, like uh, uh, definitely it is going to be a more better and it is going to be a uh, it is going to be a uh, far better than any other tool which is existing right now in the industry okay so definitely there are a lot of other tools like power bi javelu uh but yeah uh, this is going to be an amazing one uh in upcoming days and even now uh, uh like there are there are uh, there are so many companies uh, which are uh, who are actually uh, utilizing the same uh, looker studio tool okay so now if i if i if i, if I talk uh, like uh, from where you can open it so let me first check like if there is any uh, like a question on uh, like a youtube okay so let me check this okay sorry for uh, spelling mistake guys Yeah, definitely, Sachin. We are going to do it practically. We are going to uh, take uh, like a practical. Uh, uh, we are going to take the uh, data set and we are going to uh, do the practical implementation. Don't worry about that. Now, guys, uh, what you can do, uh, if you even uh, uh, like uh, uh, want to do it uh, like side by side, so you can try to open uh, like a Looker Studio. So you can see uh, and this uh, Looker Studio. Uh, if if you Simply search for a local studio, so it will directly open along uh, like with your Google account. Okay, so uh, this is how it looks like. So you can simply first search for a local studio, and this kind of uh, like a page or uh, this kind of a template will get uh, if you write if you simply open uh, like a local studio in your uh, like a web page. Okay, so if you want, uh, please open it. Okay, and then uh, we we'll, we can try to uh, simply understand it uh, uh, like a step by step. okay so now guys over here you can see uh like uh, you we have this create option okay now from this create option uh you can actually um uh, and i will show you like uh, before starting before starting before start creating any report or before start uh, creating any kind of a dashboard or before you start creating any kind of a chart let me actually uh, show you uh, like uh, uh, one of the reports which I have uh, like created. So there are many reports which I have created, but yeah, I can show you like uh, how uh, like a report uh, in a Google uh, Looker Studio looks like. Okay, so this is one of my report. If I open it, so you can see like this is how uh, like uh, if once you once you have created the report, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is maybe uh, some sales data which uh, I have taken from uh, like an uh, internet. And then on the basis of that sales data, or uh, this is uh, what uh, like a dashboard, or this is what uh, like a report I have created. Now you can see like uh, uh, this particular report. Uh, when I say guys, it's a dynamic one. It means that uh, you can see like over here, there's a there's a reason. Uh, like uh, there's a there's a column name reason. And if I try to uh, click on this drop down of this reason, so it is getting it. It is actually giving me multiple options. Uh, so let's say this particular sales data is actually taken. Uh, like let's say there is a, like an e-commerce uh, company, and they have shared. Uh, uh, we got the data set of let's say any e-commerce company. Let's assume that it's a Flipkart, and uh, we want or uh, let's assume that it's the Amazon, and we want to know like uh, from which reason they are getting maximum sell or from which reason they are getting minimum sell and all other things. Okay, so you can see that we have this particular. Uh, like uh, we have this particular uh, analysis over here where we have done the analysis by segment where we have tried we are trying to check that uh, from which segment uh, like a maximum sell is coming from and from this segment uh, maybe a minimum sell is coming from then we try to get uh, we are trying to uh, we trying to get this inside sales by category means from which category uh, the company is getting maximum sell and from which category the company is getting minimum sell then we try to get the sales by by state like from which state the maximum sell is the from which state the, the minimum sell is okay so uh, this is actually uh, data from uh, like any e-commerce website uh, which is uh, uh, which belong uh, 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 which belongs to uh, like uh, mainly in US and let's see like uh, and this is uh, what uh, we have actually uh, drawn these are all the insights we have actually drawn from that particular data set okay 
so even if i click on if i simply want to see like uh, uh, like from uh, how what kind of a cells is actually coming from the south region okay so i can click on only okay so i can click on the south region and now you can see that uh, now this this entire value gets changes and we are getting uh, the uh, we are getting all these values uh, for the south region only okay now we are not getting any value for uh, we are not getting uh, like a data with respect to any other reason now this entire data is actually uh, uh, for a south region okay so this is the total sales coming from the south region total number of orders from the south region Ma the profit the entire profit from coming from the south region and the total product sales from the south region and the total number of customers belonging to the from the south region okay similarly uh, now this entire uh, like the segment is from the south region this entire uh, like the cell is again from the south region okay so we are only talking about uh, like uh, the data of which is actually coming from the south region so this is how guys uh, you can actually make your uh, like a dashboard you can actually make your report a dynamic one so that if if the client wants to check uh, if, if the client wants to check anything in a real time so yes he can definitely check it out okay so now if i want to analyze uh, uh, if i want to analyze the next reason so now if i want to analyze the central reason so yes just click on the central reason and now you can analyze the central reason well. So now this is the entire data coming from the cent. This is the entire uh, like a cells, uh, any and everything coming from the central region. Again, if you want to analyze uh, the east region, so click on the east region, and now you'll get the data uh, like uh, the cells coming from the east region only. Okay, and you can actually see the trend. Okay, so this is actually the cells trend. So you can see in the east region, uh, uh, we can actually see the trend like uh, in the first year. Um, sorry uh, actually it, it is going from 2014 to 17 so in the year 2014 the cell is uh, maybe some value then it goes up in 2016 then it goes down in 2015 then it again goes up in 2017 okay so this is how the cells is going on kind of a upward downward trend in case of a, from the east region similarly if you want it from uh, west region so you can again click on the west region and you, you, can, you can see the <clears throat> you can see the trend uh, coming from the west region okay so this is how guys uh, you can actually make this uh, particular report a dynamic one where uh, you uh, like uh, where uh, like client or uh, like a user can uh, <clears throat> can see uh, like anything uh, in a real time okay so there are uh, like uh, multiple things uh, guys which you can try to bring it over here just to uh, make this uh, make just to make this entire report a dynamic one okay so if you want to make uh, if you want to bring uh, like a multiple uh, uh, like a <coughs> multiple uh, like a columns over here so yes you can bring it out okay so uh, this is just a sample report uh, definitely we uh, in this entire uh, because we have already three days so we are going to create this kind of report and even better report uh, than this uh, uh, like in our uh, like the session itself okay but yeah this is just uh, uh, like a sample report and you can see uh, how well this report is uh, actually created and how we can actually uh, check any insight uh, in a real time okay so uh, uh, yeah guys uh, i hope now you can understand that uh, uh, like uh, how we can actually uh, like uh, how uh, like a report will look like in a like if we, if i try to create any report in a google studio okay so fine guys uh, i think uh, you understand this now uh, you can see guys now right now this is actually the view mode okay so that's why i cannot make any change like over here i can simply this is actually the view mode so uh, this is how you will share this report to your uh, like a client and your client can only make uh, this changes means your client can only uh, uh, navigate through uh, the different reasons apart from this if if if, uh, if your client wants to make any other change so definitely he cannot make it until unless uh, he click on this particular edit button okay so right now uh, you are in a view mode so you definitely you can only view this particular report and you can since this particular uh, column is a dynamic one so this is where you can uh, 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 you can actually navigate through different reasons but if you want to uh, if you want to edit this report if you want to make uh, like a, any kind of a changes into this report then you need to click on this edit button okay so if you click on the edit button now uh, you'll get the option 
from where you can uh, actually make the changes in uh, like any of this chart okay so now if you make any changes in any of these charts so now you can bring it uh, you can make it because uh, now you you actually clicked on to the edit mode okay and when now, now you can see guys when when you click on the edit mode now you're getting multiple options over here okay so the view option insert option page arrange resource resource add data add chart add control now you're getting all the options over here okay so and if you click on any of this chart so you're getting uh, this uh, like option like uh, if you want to make any changes into the chart so all these options are present okay so this is the option for doing uh, like any kind of a setup over here and then you get getting another option to if you want to change the color if you want to change the style if you want to change anything so you're getting this uh, like uh, all these options are present so uh, these options guys will help you to make your uh, like a chart or to make your dashboard more attractive more beautiful so that uh, more elegant so that definitely uh, like a client should like it and uh, anyone can uh, easily understand it okay so i hope now uh, this uh, this is clear uh, that how uh, like uh, uh, like how uh, maybe a sample chart uh, like in a local studio looks like okay and yeah it is it definitely looking amazing and you definitely make it uh, more interactive okay now uh yeah uh, definitely sachin we have started from a beginning one uh, i'm actually i'm simply trying to uh, like i'm i'm trying to show you uh, like a uh, like one sample report that how it looks like now let me go on to uh, the same uh, local studio now uh, once you search for a local studio so definitely you, you are able to get this option over here now you can see that uh, there are three options at the top okay so the first option is report the second option is data sources and the third option is explorer even if you click on this create button so you'll get these three options report data source and explorer okay so now i will not directly go on to the report i will click on this data sources now let's see that uh, what kind of data are available and how you can actually uh, import your own data set if you have any okay so now if i click on this data source Every one of you guys uh, can definitely uh, like uh, uh, go along with me. Okay, so uh, you can actually see uh, like uh, in this uh, 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 like a data connection. Okay, so let me check over here. Yeah, so if you click on this data source, so you can see that uh, these are the uh, like you can actually see 24 google connectors okay now these are all the uh like a uh, data or uh, like uh, which is already available uh like in uh, like for your uh for, for creating uh like uh like a report okay so these are all the data which is uh which is already uh connected uh, uh with your uh like a uh, report so if you if you or if you want to utilize any of this data like uh, if you want to uh, use uh, like google analytics data if you want to use google ads data so you can actually utilize uh, like any of uh, this but uh, like a uh, data from here like uh, postgres sql microsoft sql you can you can actually see youtube analytics so even i don't have uh, like a youtube channel but still uh, like uh, if you simply want to see uh, like what it is fine such in 22 24 so uh sometimes uh like uh, there is uh, like uh, some net uh like uh it uh, it's also takes some time at like a time to get upgrade upgraded to uh, like a 24 okay so don't worry about that now if you uh, if you click on any of this uh like uh, data source so these are all the uh like uh, predefined data sources present into your uh like uh, inside your google account itself okay so since even I don't have like a Google, uh, like any YouTube channel, but still like if I want to uh, like a check, uh, like at by this time, uh, like if I have any uh, like a video, so what kind of likes are there? What kind of uh, like uh, views are there? So yes, I can analyze it by, uh, by, by, by getting this particular data set. Uh, after if I have any YouTube channel later on, so definitely I can utilize it directly from here. Okay, similarly guys, you can have like a different data over here and uh, let's say if you want to upload any file of uh, uh, which is present into the csv format okay so let's say if you have any file into the csv format 
And uh, so what you can do, you can actually upload that data onto your drive and then you can actually uh, uh, you can actually import that data by clicking over here. Similarly, if you have any Google Sheet, if you have, a, a, have you, if you have created any Google Sheet, so you can click on this Google Sheet and you can actually import that Google Sheet into inside your report. Okay, so this particular data source page, guys, is actually used if you want to uh, utilize any uh, like a data set, any data set, guys. Uh, let's say if you want to utilize any data set directly from here just for uh just 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 to check it out just to check it out if you want to utilize any uh particular data so yes you can actually take it let's say if i take this google analytics uh, authorize okay so yes uh, you can actually click on any data set any uh like a data source and you can actually check it okay so this is not my account it should be something else okay so this uh, so you can see like uh, when I click on Google Sheets, so I am able to get all the CSV files, which is already into my uh, like a drive. Similarly, let me take some other data if it is available. Let's say Google Analytics, uh, YouTube Analytics. Let me. Okay, so now if I click on the connect, now you can see uh, like uh, okay so you can see guys that uh, there is nothing on to my youtube because i never uh, like uh, created any uh, like a video for my youtube so it, like there is nothing over there but still uh, just for uh, like example so if i want to check this we can see uh, okay so <laughs> I have actually created uh, like a video for my uh, uh, for my uh, like uh, for my child. Okay, so I I, I call him Piddi. So I have I have created uh, like a simple video for him. Maybe I have uploaded it. I don't even know. So you can see, guys, that only two videos are there, and then watch time is there. So if I want to analyze my YouTube channel. Okay, so later on, if I have, if I, if I create any any YouTube channel anytime in the future, and if I want to utilize it, if I want to analyze it, so yes, I can easily analyze it directly, like over here. So this is actually, uh, this is actually the knowledge about my YouTube channel. So you can see, like uh, right, right now there are just two videos, and even I don't remember how these two videos are there. So, but yeah, if I want to analyze it, if I want to get the insights about uh, like my YouTube channel, how, like how well it is going on. So yes, I can uh, I can get that data over here. Okay, so any kind of a data source, guys. If you want to uh, uh, if you want to uh, like import uh, like into your local studio, so yes, you can import it. Now, since I have uh, like one data which uh, uh, which uh, which I have stored into my uh, which I have uh, already uh, uploaded on my drive. Okay, so one second. So there is uh, like a data which I have already uploaded on my drive uh, in a Google Sheet. So if I if I click on to the Google Sheet, guys, now you can see that I'm getting all these uh, uh, all these options, all these uh, like uh, uh, all these uh, like uh, sheets over here, guys. So uh, like, what are all the sheets present into my uh, in present in, in inside my drive? So I'm getting all these uh, like uh, sheets over here, all these sheets name over here. Okay so yeah if i want to uh if i want to upload any sheet so you can see like uh, i can click on owned by me and i can see like uh, what are the spreadsheet i am having so i think uh, this is my spreadsheet okay so i don't think that any other data i have data source sheet one Okay, or I can directly look into my uh, this. Uh, I can directly even try to look into my Google Drive, and I can see like uh, uh, what is my sheet name, and I can also try to share that with you guys. You can also try to check it out. So, I, I, because I definitely added uh, like a data over here inside a data set maybe yeah so my data source is the name of my file 
So let's see whether this particular data is there or not. Again, go on to the or what you can do, you can try to even uh, like a create a report. And because from, from here also, guys, you can actually get the data. So like uh, I think this is the data. Simply click on the add. You can click on the add. If you have any other data source, guys, okay, so I don't think that right now I can share uh, like this data with you, but you will definitely find out this data uh, because uh, uh, like in uh, uh, because I think the link of documentation is given. So in this uh, like a document, yeah, definitely it is completely safe, uh, Sachin. Okay. So you can actually try to uh, check maybe uh, maybe into the documentation section. Uh, so I think, yeah, all in one documentation. So in this particular link, you can actually get all the documents. OK, so in that documentation section, guys, itself, I will upload this data set. OK, so what you can do, you can actually try to upload this. So let me show you even uh, like uh, what kind of a data I'm using like over here. So I think I'm using this particular data set and this data set is nothing but it's a cells data where we have uh, like a multiple columns. Okay. So you can see it's a cells data and in this data, in this cells data, we have multiple columns like order ID, like uh, because you know, guys, uh, whenever you make any order from Amazon or Flipkart, okay, so you get some unique order ID. Okay. You get, you are getting one unique order ID. Okay. So uh, that that's what we call the order ID. Then order date means on which date you make the order. Ship date means on which date your order gets shipped. Okay. Uh, so on uh, on the date which uh, on which you made the order, and then on the date uh, it gets shipped. Okay. So you can actually with this you can also count the delivery time, like how much time it is taking for a delivery. Then ship mode. Okay. So second class, first class, standard class, multiple ship modes are there. Customer name, okay. I think this is regarding sorry, customer ID, then customer name, segment, okay, then a country, like from which country they got this order, uh, city name, state name, postal code, reason, product ID. So you can see like we have all this information regarding uh like a uh, regarding uh, like a customer, regarding product, regarding uh like a uh, different items which uh, uh, which any customer has ordered then category subcategory and then we have this product name we have the sales column we have this quantity column we have the discount column and we have this finally profit column okay now with by using this particular data now goes as soon as you have imported this data as soon as you have added this data into your report now you can see guys that you you are able to get all these column names over here you can you are able to get all these column uh like a names over here now guys you can actually try to divide this entire column name into two parts okay so your entire uh like a uh, like a whatever the columns or whatever the data you are getting you can actually divide uh like into uh you can actually divide it into uh like a two uh categories so one you can call as a dimensions and another one you can call it as a matrices okay so even this is very important to understand the difference between matrices and dimensions. Okay, so let me tell you like what are the differences between matrices and dimensions. Okay, so we already understood that how we can actually take any data from uh, like any other website. Okay, so you can see uh, when Lucas Studio was first released, there were only six Google based data sources. Okay, so right now you're getting more options over there, but earlier it was only six Google based data sources. As of this writing, there were 400 plus connectors because you can see guys in the below. Okay, so there are 24 connectors over there. After that, in the partner, in the partner section, there are maybe 200. Okay, and this is actually for a free, uh, like a uh, version for a paid version, there will be more. There are 400 plus connector to access your data from 800 plus data sets. Okay, beside Google connectors, there are also partner connectors okay now uh you can see is that whatever the data like it doesn't matter that you have uploaded your own data set or you have uploaded your client's data set just like i have uploaded my client's data set apart from that even if you have uploaded your own data sets so the columns in your data set can be divided into two categories 
matrices and dimensions now matrices are nothing but matrices are the numerical values okay so guys in uh, try to understand that any data in this entire world any kind of a data set can be divided into two categories one is called numerical data another one is called categorical data okay so if i want to divide a kind of like a data type okay so any data in this entire world can be divided into two categories guys okay it can be divided into uh, simply into two categories one is called uh, one is called uh, like a numerical data type and another one is called a categorical data type. Okay, so when I say uh, like a numerical data type guys, it means that a kind of a data on which we can do, a, on which we can perform any arithmetic operation. Okay, so numerical data type is the one. So numerical data is the one on which we can perform any kind of a arithmetic operations. Okay, now this numerical data guys, this numerical data, in in other words, or in 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 terms of uh, like analysis, or in terms of Lucas Studio, uh, in terms of Lucas Studio like tool, I can call it as a matrix. Okay, so any data or any value on which or uh, by which you can perform any kind of arithmetic operation like uh, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, aggregation. Aggregation means uh, if I want to get the average of that data. So if it is possible with any, uh, uh, if it is possible with uh, with the data, then I can call it as a matrices. Okay, then then that kind of a data I can call it as a matrices. And similarly, guys, the another kind of a data it can call as a categorical data. Categorical data. Okay, and this is what we call the dimensions in in this case. This is what we call the dimensions. Okay. Now when I say the dimensions or when I say the categorical data, it means that uh the data uh, which can be divided into multiple categories okay so let's say uh, uh like uh, we have uh, uh the name of the reasons okay so there there are four different reasons so i can also call it so there, there are four different categories or there are four different classes okay so whenever uh like uh, uh, uh whenever uh, or i can also call it as a discrete random numbers okay so whenever there's a, there's a, there's a categories or whenever uh, uh, like there, there are classes i can call it as a dimensions okay so that's how these uh, like a different data types are actually defined uh, like over here guys so you can see there's matrices are nothing but it's are the these are the numerical values that can count that on which you can perform any arithmetic operation okay so these values come from implicitly or explicitly applying an aggregation function like uh, count sum average etc dimensions are the names descriptions or other characteristics of the things you are measuring or counting okay now if you if you want to take the examples so the examples of the matrices are nothing but the total cells so means the like whatever the total cells that company or that website has done from the last four years then the total number of the customers then the maximum cell minimum cell average product price okay or i can see even the total profit uh, whatever they have uh, whatever they get uh, in the last four years okay so all these values guys come inside of matrices when i say uh, when i talk about the dimensions so dimensions are nothing but guys uh, now these are the examples of dimensions like uh, sales revenue from selling your products online broken down into sales per month or per order type uh, then you can also see guys uh, uh, maybe um, uh, you can also understand the cells or you can also understand the number of customer based on the age, gender and all. They can also call it, we can also call it as a dimensions. OK, so uh, the state name, OK, uh, the state name, uh, the segment name. OK, so there are different segment names. So if I want to see that uh, how much segments come from uh, like uh, the how, like which seg from which segment uh, we are getting maximum cell or from which segment we are getting minimum cell. If I want to see that from which category we are getting maximum sell or from which category we are getting minimum sell, okay? Because guys, in this uh, uh, like this uh, for this particular e-commerce guys uh, data, uh, they are actually dealing in multiple categories, okay? So like uh, just like Flipkart or Amazon, okay? Because if you talk about Mintra, so Mintra is actually dealing in only one category, okay? So they are selling only the uh, uh, only the clothing products, okay. So they're selling only the wearable products, or I can say the clothing. Uh, they are only dealing in a in a clothing product, whether it's a men clothing, female clothing, or whatever the products we can you can actually wear, okay. Like uh, maybe a shoes or sleepers, uh, 
uh, watches okay so these are the products in which uh, like a mintra is dealing but if i talk about uh, like a flipkart or amazon so they are dealing in uh, like a multiple categories okay so they are dealing in even into the electronic products they are dealing in, even into uh, like a home appliances okay so they are dealing in multiple categories okay so there are multiple categories in which they are in in, in which uh, they are selling their products okay so even guys this particular uh, like a website they are actually selling multiple uh, like a categories they are dealing in multiple categories so if i want to see that from which category we are getting maximum profit or from which category we are getting minimum profit so again uh, this uh, that all comes inside a uh, dimensions okay so now you can see over here like uh, when we actually when i have uploaded my data when i have imported my data so you can see that uh, there are from some uh, like uh, you can see guys for every column okay so these are nothing but the name of my columns and corresponding on the left side of every column there is some icon given okay so you can see that this category column so uh, call on on the left side of it there's a abc it means it's a categorical data it's uh, the name of the category then for ct column guys you can see that this globe icon it means it's a uh, uh it's it's a geopolitical entity okay because we are talking about uh, like a city so it's a geopolitical entity then country is again a geopolitical entity then customer id it is again uh it is again the name uh sorry it is again uh some uh let's say the code so it is a, again a string value it is again a string value customer name now guys discount so now for discount you can see it's a uh it is actually uh uh Uh, like a numerical value a proper numerical value integer value 1 2 3 order date so for this guys you can see the calendar okay so now guys these are the different data types in case of a uh, in case of uh, like a looker studio so you can see uh, one data type uh, this i can call it is a uh, uh, like a string data type okay it's a, it's a object data type uh, it's a geopolitical data type then it's a calendar date time data type okay so this order date guys i can call it a date type data type <laughs> and then it's a integer value okay so all these are nothing but a integer value so wherever you can see this 1 2 3 all these are nothing but a integer values okay so there are different data types guys over here and along with the different data types you can also see uh, 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 this uh, this two uh, different things dimensions and metric so in a matrix guys uh, you can actually do any kind of uh, arithmetic operation like uh, you can actually uh, uh, do the sum you can actually do the aggregation so wherever you want to do any arithmetic operation that will come inside a matrix and if you have any column through which uh, uh, like uh, you want to do this particular operation so that will come inside a dimensions okay so we have this uh, different uh, like a data ty data types and we have this uh, uh like or uh, we have this dimensions and uh, like a metric over here now guys this is but this is actually a place this is actually uh, like a space where you can actually create your report okay so if you want to create any report means if you want to create any chart in order to understand your data okay so if you want to create any a chart or any kind of a graph just to understand uh, just to get any insight from your data set so this is a place where you can bring out the chart okay so by default guys uh, you can see one chart over here uh, where we have uh, this order id and record count now this particular chart guys it, this is nothing but a table okay so this particular chart i can call it as a table okay so now over here uh, if i simply remove it so now if you want to add any chart so you can go over here guys you can go over here and you can add any chart uh, which you want okay so uh, let's try to take the intuition from our sample itself okay so if i look at the sample and if i want to make uh, something from uh, based on my sample itself so yes uh, you can actually see uh, like uh, you can see there there's a score card okay so with this score card you can uh, actually uh, you can actually make any kpi you can see there's a bar chart you can see there's a bar chart okay and uh, there's a pie chart so let's see that if i take any chart over here and if i want to actually uh, observe this chart like uh, how we can actually use this chart so we don't want this order date over here okay so we don't want this order date over here 
now what i can do i can uh, if i if i want to add the dimension guys so i told you that uh, the dimension uh, my dimension will be nothing but uh, any uh, like a column uh, on which i can try to perform any uh, any kind of aggregate function okay so let's see uh, any a uh, categorical column okay so there are multiple categorical column guys like there is a category column itself uh, uh which actually tells me the multiple categories and there is a sub category column okay so since in a category column maybe i just have uh, one or two categories or maybe three categories so i can try to take this sub category column over here okay now guys let's see that uh, when we so let's take this sub category column over here now you can see guys that when you take this sub category column so we are getting this uh, uh, like a chart over here where we are getting the sub category okay so uh, these are the sub categories uh, like a name like a binders paper and then uh, there are more things there are more things like uh, uh, we have this uh, we have this uh, item okay so these are all the sub category names okay in which uh, uh, we have the sales item now i don't want to see this record count okay so i want to replace it and i want to replace it with the cells okay so let's see if i want to take the cells over here so fine guys now you can see that uh, and we don't want this record count we simply want the cells now you can see guys that this is how the cells uh, like looks like okay now you can see that the maximum cell is actually coming from the phones okay so the maximum cell is actually coming from uh, by selling uh, the phones then chairs okay then a storage then tables then binders then uh, we have um, machines then we have accessories copiers bookcases and appliances now guys uh, you can see like uh, some uh, some act some values are actually uh, display with the dark blue color some with the light blue color okay so if you want to set up all these styles okay and right now guys you can see that uh, we are getting the sum over here okay so we are we are doing the total sums over here if you want to change this aggregation so right now we are doing the sum if you want to see that uh, what is the average cell we are getting from the phones what is the average cell we are we are we are getting from the chairs what is the average cell we are getting from the storage so you can click on this average but for now we can actually uh, i am actually happy with the this uh, 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 the total cell because this is actually uh, uh, from this we are actually getting the, we are actually understanding that uh, how much cells we are getting from cell uh, from each from each sub category and we can understand that uh, maximum cell we are getting from this uh, sub category uh, from this uh, like a phone sub category means by selling uh, like a different kind of a phones now you can see guys that this particular value is already sorted into the descending order and that's why we are getting this uh, uh, we are getting uh, the phones on the top then chairs and then so on if i want to sort it into the ascending order so i can click on ascending and then it will get sorted into the ascending order okay so now this is actually the uh, uh, sub category from which we are getting uh, the minimum cell which is the fasteners okay so actually guys uh, there are uh, there there's there are there more sub categories okay so i think yeah we are get we are getting till here okay so right now we are getting uh, uh, the the cells from fastener uh, labels okay so these are the labels then these are the envelopes art and all okay so these are all these sub categories name and i want to uh, i want to see into the ascending order descending order itself now guys you can actually go on to the style if you want to change any style okay so this is how it looks like right now so if you want to change its style okay so yes you can click over here and now this is how it looks like okay so earlier guys if you if you don't want if you if you're not able to read out these uh, like uh, the, the complete name so now you can try to arrange this chart in this way and now you are able to read out the entire like the complete name over here okay so now you can see that this is the cell uh, and you can see that uh, the cell value over here okay in this uh, tool tip you can actually get the total cell value uh, of which you are getting from the phones the total cell value which you are getting from the chairs after that there is a storage tables binders machine accessories copiers bookcases and appliances at the end okay now guys uh, you can see like the, there are total 10 bars but 
we know that there are more uh, like a subcategory. So if you want to increase the number of bars, so yes, you can increase it. Okay. So you can see now uh, like one more category is added over here. If you want to increase this number of bars till 17, because there are total 17 subcategories. So yes, you can increase it. Okay. So it's up to you uh, like uh, how many bars you want. Okay. So you can see now this is the last uh, like a subcategory we have, which is fasteners. Okay. And now these are the total number of subcategories we have. So we have in total 17 subcategories and we can see that how much cells we are getting from each subcategory. Even if you want to change the color, guys. So right now it's a uh, it's it's a blue color, but uh, definitely you'll get the option uh, like uh, to change the blue color. So if you want to uh, if you want to see the numbers on the top, if you want to print this number on the top, so you can click on this show data labels and we'll get the numbers on the top. Okay, like how many cells? But guys, these numbers are uh, like are not into the readable format. Let's see that. But but because if I want to uh, understand that uh, like uh, how much total cells we are getting from chair so i think i need to look look it into the tool tip and then i can say okay 328449 okay so if you want to uh, if you, if you want this uh, like a number in in a compact format so you can click on this compact numbers and get the data in this format 328.4000 330000 okay now this is this is much better you can easily read it out and uh, uh, then guys, uh, if you want to add any border color, okay, any other border color if you want, so yes, you can add it, okay. So right now this is, uh, we are getting just one color option and you can see guys that all these uh, axis is right now visible over here, but if you don't want to uh, show the axis, so you can click on it, okay. Uh, find uh, bar width, guys. If you want to increase it, so yes, the bar width, uh, the 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 width of the bar will get increased. Okay. Uh, if you want, don't want to uh, show this uh, y-axis label. Okay, so you can actually. Uh, right now, it is not visible, guys. Uh, that uh, we are looking about the cells, so it is now visible. If I click on it, okay, and. Uh, right now this title is not visible so if you want to see the title so yes now the title is visible guys okay along with this guys uh, you can see like uh, we have this uh, breed you can see guys uh, that in the uh, behind this uh, like a bar we have this uh, uh, grid lines okay so uh, i think uh, if you want maybe you can also try to uh, remove this grid lines okay so uh, right now, this is how we are getting this, uh, uh, like uh, we are getting this grid line. So if I want uh, uh, like to no grid line, so yes, you can take this color as white. Now you can see that guys that there's no grid lines. Okay. Uh, if you want to increase or decrease the font size of this axis means uh, of this force or chair. So if you want to increase the size, so right now it's 12 pixel. If you want to increase it, so yes, you can increase it. Okay. So you can also change the font style. Right now it's a Roboto. If you want to change it, yes, you can change it. Okay. And uh, this legend font color, guys. So yeah, if you don't like it, if you want to change this uh, uh, like the font color, so yes, you can actually change it. Okay. So fine. Uh, we can actually do all these changes over here. It's up to you, like how you look like. Okay, so maximum line, alignment. Okay, background color. If you want to add any other background color, yes, you can add it. Okay, so you can see, guys, that uh, uh, like uh, multi, uh, there, there are different styling which you can do over here. Okay, uh, uh, right now, guys, you are getting just one uh, value after the decimal place. If you want to take more value after the decimal place, or if you don't want to take any value after the decimal place, yes, you can make that changes okay uh bar label position below above so it's up to you okay so if i want to place every value above the bar so yes you can upload it okay and even guys if you want to change the color of uh, this uh, value like if you think that it is not visible or anything so yes uh, you can maybe change it okay so i think uh, this color is uh, this is not from here I think uh, this is maybe we can we can you can check it and you can definitely change it guys okay so you can see guys that uh, uh, this is uh, one simple insight which we you can actually get 
from your uh, from your data set okay so now this is nothing but a cells by subcategory now uh, let's say if if someone uh, like if someone checking this particular chart so maybe uh, he or she is not able to understand that what this particular chart is referring to means what kind of information is present inside this particular chart so in that case guys for 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 their reference okay what you can do you can definitely try to uh, uh, like add the header on the top so that anyone can easily understand that uh, this particular uh, like a chart is referring uh, uh like uh, uh, the total cells which you have made from the uh, subcategory from different subcategories okay now for that purpose guys uh, we have again different uh, like options over here so you can see there's a text uh, there's a text box okay so you can actually go on to the text box there's a shape box also there's a rectangle shape box so you can actually use anything but i will actually go ahead with the text box so i will actually add this text box and i will add it over here okay now inside this text box guys i can write that cells by sub category okay and now guys uh, yeah definitely i can i can try to write this i can try to uh, bring it in in a middle uh, you can also try to change uh, its style so that it looks more better okay so whatever the style guys you think that uh, looks good you can take that particular style you can definitely change the size from here okay so if it doesn't look uh, uh, if you want to increase the size so yes just increase it like uh, it's up it's completely uh, up to you it's completely up to me that uh, whatever size i want i can take that size and then you, even you can try to change this uh, like a color of it okay so if you want to change the color if you want uh, like to take some another color yeah you can take it so fine now uh, this is how my uh, like a chart look like okay and we have actually given the heading over here that this particular chart is actually uh, uh, like uh, telling me the cells which we are getting from a uh, different subcategories okay so yeah guys you can see that uh, uh, this is how you can link up the chart and this is how you can actually uh, you can actually convey any kind of information you can actually con uh, share any kind of insight uh, to your client or uh, to uh, to anyone okay and in this way guys so this is just one chart this is just one example we have taken in exactly in the same way guys if you want to uh, like uh, create any other chart so like a pie chart so you can see like if, when when you go inside this particular chart option so there are multiple chart options which are present okay so we have taken this bar chart option you can see we have this pie chart then we have this google maps we have this line chart we have this area chart scatter plot a uh, pivot table tree map gauss chart uh, waterfall so all these uh, like uh, beautiful chart option are present guys and if you ever uh, like created uh, like uh, let's say a report in your masters okay so if any one of you have done uh, have done your masters so you definitely know that in the masters you uh, you may be created uh, like uh, these kind of a charts like gauss charts uh, waterfall chart timeline charts okay so all these charts guys definitely possible uh, like over here and you can actually build up these kind of charts okay so uh, now uh, let's try to take uh, like even more information so for a timing guys i i think we explored uh, that how we can actually create this particular uh, like a chart over here and how we can actually understand uh, uh, like what are all the things from inside a chart and you can understand guys that how you can actually add any text bar over here okay so if uh, if you want to even guys if you want to give uh, like uh, right now uh, like this is not a report we are creating we are simply creating uh, like a chart so for just like we have given this uh, like a heading to our chart if you want to give a, give heading to uh, like your report so yes you can use the same like a uh, same kind of operation guys now let's say if i want to uh, make uh, like a more charts over here so for that guys what i can do i can try to minimize it or even i try to uh, like in, decrease the number of bars over here uh, so that uh, it can be easily minimized and even if i minimize it, it looks good and 
then I can actually take this uh, chart in the middle. Okay. Now this looks better, I guess. This looks good. Okay. Now, guys, uh, this is just uh, one information which uh, we are sharing uh, for our uh, Laker data set. Okay. Now, this is this particular information we can directly share with our uh, Laker client. Now, guys, you can see that uh, uh, like uh, the report page. Okay, so this report page is actually right now it's a, it's a simple white page. Okay, before going ahead, let me check even if there is any question in a comment section. Uh, how does Looker Studio handle data security? Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, such an it's a product of uh, Google, so it definitely handle uh, like like uh, your privacy and security. The other thing is. Uh, uh, like uh, if you uh, if you if you're creating any uh, like a chart or if you're creating any report, and if you want uh, if you want to see like uh, that it should be uh, it should be it should be completely private and it should be uh, completely secured. Okay, so for that there are uh, like a multiple versions of it. So I told you that right now uh, we are simply understanding that how we can create any kind of a chart. Okay, and and one more thing that until unless you are you are not sharing this particular. Uh, like a report to anyone so definitely uh, uh, like uh, this particular file is only with you and definitely no one can access it without your uh, uh, without uh, uh, like your permission okay until unless you share it the second thing is once once you share it uh, even there if you want to uh, like uh, even uh, like you want to save this particular like the data file or data source so for that there are i told you that uh, this is this is a simple free version but uh, along with that like when the people are working into the industry and if people are working for any particular company so they have created their own uh, like a privacy method they have created their own security method and for that they are providing you uh, like a different uh, uh, like ids and they're providing you or uh, different uh, uh, like a platform with a uh, with with a paid uh, like a versions and over there the things will uh, will be more secure your data at, at least your data will be uh, like a completely secure over there okay even like over here if you want to secure your data or if you want to secure your report so definitely uh, it's up to you like until unless you share this particular report to anyone else no one is going to uh, like uh, check no one can uh, like actually check this out okay Yeah, chill now, guys. Uh, since we have created this chart, and I, I think that uh, it's a very simple approach. Uh, the approach which I have taken to uh, like uh, create this particular chart or to put uh, multiple informations over here into my chart. So, uh, if uh, if there is any uh, like a question or if there is any uh, like a query, guys, if you have, please uh, let me know in a comment box. Okay. Now let's continue. Let's see that how we can actually add up uh, maybe any um, uh, like a, a mini uh, any kind of uh, uh, any kind of uh, uh, like a KPI. Okay. So when I say the KPIs, guys, so KPI simply stands for uh, like a key performance indicators. So whenever you are dealing with the, any kind of a data, guys, not only with the sales data. Let's say if I also try to, uh, if I also, if I simply try to check my uh, YouTube YouTube data analytics, okay. So if I simply want to analyze my YouTube data, so I can maybe the the very uh, the first few things which I want to maybe observe is nothing but like how many likes I got till now. And then, uh, uh, how many? Uh, what is the maybe a total watch time? Okay, what is the average watch time? Okay, so these are the these, these are maybe the first few things we, which I want to observe or which I want to know in the very first place. Okay, so in the very first place, I want to know uh, the uh, I I want to know the 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 numbers. Okay, I want to know I want to I want to get the information about my numbers actually. Okay, like uh, how many total, uh, uh, how many total likes I got till now, how uh, how much total comments I want, I, I, I got till now, what are the total, uh, uh, what are the, uh, uh, what what is the average watch time uh, uh, like I got for, uh, for, for every videos. Okay, so these are the numbers, these are the uh, like uh, values I want at the very first place. Now guys, this is what we call as a KPIs. 
similarly guys if there is a sales data and if any client share this particular sales data with you so the very first thing which uh, they want to know or they want to understand is nothing but uh, like uh, 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 like uh, what is the total sales they have done so far uh, how much uh, like a profit they, uh, they got actually so far then uh, how many to uh, how many total uh, like a uh, customers uh, they got maybe in the in the last four years so let's say this if i talk about this particular data so uh, in this data we have a data for for like a uh, four years so in four years how many customers they have uh, actually collected okay how many customers they have actually uh, got uh, similarly how much products they have sell okay so these may be the things which they want to know on the very first step okay so these are the numbers they want to know at the very first stage now guys if i want to get those information so for that what we can do we can try to use something called as a scorecard okay now you can see this scorecard so here itself if, if you simply uh, if you if you simply visualize uh, simply check this scorecard so it is completely written that uh, maybe they are calculating so, uh, the total of something or uh, like a sessions like how many total likes how many total cell sessions has been done okay now this is what we call as a scorecard guys okay and in this scorecard there are multiple kpis which i can try to store okay so let's take this scorecard now in this scorecard guys i can first try to take uh, the total cells so you can see that uh, we are taking the total cells over here now this is the total cells uh, uh, like uh, this particular uh, uh, like uh, website this particular uh, uh, e-commerce website has done in the last four years okay now guys again uh, the again the same problem that i cannot maybe able to read out this particular uh, like a cell value uh, and this time guys this cell value is maybe little small so maybe i can even try to read it out like to uh, to 22 lakh 97200 but uh, but uh, still like uh, let's say if, if this cell is even more okay so if i have a data for eight years so definitely i'm not able to read it out okay so in that place again what i can do i can try to change this uh, uh, i can try to change this particular uh, like a uh, number uh, uh, like a format and i can try to change it into the compact uh, uh, i can try to uh, show it in a compact way so now if i click on this compact so now i am getting the value as 2.3 million now guys anyone can easily read out uh, this 2.3 million and now i can understand that total sales which uh, this company has done in the last four years it is 2.3 million even guys if you want to again i told you that if you want to increase or decrease uh, uh, like this decimal value so yes we can do that apart from that guys if you uh, if you want to add any kind of a rule over here so yes you can add that rule as well okay so right now there is no no such rule which i want to add over here so it is completely fine okay metric value i want it in the in the middle okay so fine this looks good now guys similarly uh, like similar to this if i want to create uh, any other um, uh, like a scorecard okay so yes you can simply copy and paste it okay so if you simply copy and paste it so a same uh, kind of a card will generate okay so in this way i can generate maybe multiple cards so maybe three four cards i have created right now and i can create even more so let's say that right now i have created for a timing i have created uh, like a four to five different cards over here okay and now i can try to take the values over here like uh, this is a total cell now i don't want uh, like a total cells over here now i want the uh, the total quantity means uh, how like i have done the sell of uh, 2.3 million by selling how many products by selling 37.9 thousand products after the quantity guys let's say i want uh, like uh, the total profit uh, uh, like uh, what uh, is the total profit uh, i have uh, actually made in this uh, like a uh, four years so i can take the profit over here so you can simply change uh, this uh, like a uh, value okay so the total profit is 287 286.4 thousand similarly if i want to uh, get like the total number of orders 
so now guys now over here if i want to count the total number of orders so you can see there's a order id because order id is always a unique value so you can get the total order id over here now guys right now uh, this is actually the distinct count so i don't want distinct count because uh, uh, like a person can make a multiple order a single person can make a multiple order so i can click on uh, like a count only so this is the total number of uh, like a order which uh, i received which this particular platform has received in the last four years and then uh, you can also try to uh, find out the total number of customers so for this uh, we have this customer id now you can do this uh, like the counting and you can see now guys uh, all these things are done now what you can simply do you can simply try to change this uh, so now guys this with this order id doesn't looks good okay so what you can do you can simply try to uh, change it to uh, like right now the name is order id and you can try to change it to uh, like uh, uh, total number of orders so you can write over here as total numbers of total number of orders okay so you can write in this way and it will be a total number of orders similarly this can be the total number of customers so you can go over here and you can write total number of customers okay and similarly guys like over here uh this is uh uh this is styling you can uh, try to change like uh, over here you can go and you can try to again find the compact number you can because i don't want any decimal value after that this should be in the middle okay and fine now it looks good okay so you can see guys that uh, we are getting multiple uh like a kpis over here and uh, if you want any any change guys okay so if you want any uh like the change let's say uh we are getting the total sales we are getting uh the total uh like a quantity anywhere guys if you want to uh like calculate uh, the average of any value or because uh let's say uh you think that uh, sum is not uh the correct uh like uh correct kpi for it okay so if you want uh like average of anything okay so yes you can get the, that average as well because uh, whenever you click on the cells so you can see guys that over here we can do the average we can get the sum we can get the average okay so if you want to get that average sum okay so average cell okay but average cell should be with respect to the year it should be with respect to uh like uh, maybe a sub category it, it, sh it should be with respect to the category okay it should not be with uh like a total cell so uh, be a total cells only okay and along with that guys uh, uh, like uh, and we are also going to discuss that how we can add like a more field okay so i told you that uh, we have this column like order date and somewhere we also have the ship date okay so if i if i want to find out that how many on an average how much time uh, this particular platform is taking to deliver any particular product okay let because guys this is a very important uh, like information okay so uh, let's assume that uh, you can uh, you are actually buying the item from uh, uh, from one platform let's say a flipkart and you are buying the item maybe from uh, like another platform let's say amazon okay now amazon can amazon is actually delivering your item in just a uh, three days and a flipkart maybe for delivering the same item flipkart is taking maybe seven days so definitely i will i will make the order i will prefer uh, like a uh, amazon over uh, like a flipkart because uh, it will it, it is actually taking a less uh it, it uh, like uh, the delivery time in uh like a uh, amazon is actually less in comparison to uh, like a flipkart okay so the number of delivery days that is again important okay so if you want to create uh, like any new column if you want to add any new column uh, with in your data set so yes you can add it you can add uh, like a new field or you can add uh, like a new column new add uh, like a extra information and that is completely possible guys uh, like over here okay uh, and if if uh, and if that and that too if if the columns are uh, like a creating uh, uh you are creating by using uh let's say uh by using maybe any two columns so it is even more easier now guys uh, you can see uh, as i told you that these are nothing but all the kpis which we have created uh so again uh if you want to uh, uh do anything uh let's say if you want to increase this uh 
uh, like a particular value or uh, decrease the value if you want to make it bold italic anything so yes you can actually do all those uh, like the task okay so if i want to make it uh, 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 if i want to represent it with some uh, like a different font style so yes you can represent it okay if you want to change the color so yes you can change the color okay so that's fine guys that all these uh like a uh, styling you can do you can see can you can see guys that you can actually explore this styling uh uh like a bar and from the styling bar you can actually change it okay so you can see there's an option for background and border so if you want to change the background color, like right now it's a white background. So if you want to change the background, you can change it. If you want to change the border color, right now it is, it is again white. So if you want to change it, you can change it. Okay. So there are multiple options, guys. If you want to uh, do any kind of styling, you can do that styling by using uh, like um, from here itself. Okay. So again, uh, if I want to change the font style, so yes, I can change it. If I want to change this uh, pixel value, so yes, I can change it. Okay, so you can do all the tasks, guys, with all these KPIs. And again, guys, since uh, now this is a KPI, which uh, we have uh, actually uh, uh, like, uh, which we have, uh, which you have created over here. So now, if uh, you want to share this particular information, that this is nothing but a KPIs, because let's say if someone again uh, come onto your report and if they if they actually see these numbers and if they're not able to understand that uh, what is uh, what is this number for all about, so yes, you can actually uh, just like you have uh, created this particular box uh, where you have written sense by subcategory, you can create another box and in that box you can write. Uh, that uh, like these are the KPIs uh, which uh, you have uh, actually created where you have shared uh, the information regarding uh, the numbers regarding the different numbers uh, for this particular uh, like a platform for this particular e-commerce platform. Now guys, uh, this, these are simple two charts which uh, we have created over here. If you want to uh, like a create uh, like a more chart, so definitely guys a more chart can be created to get actually more information okay so let me uh simply uh, re uh remove uh let me try to adjust this chart a little bit on uh, uh left hand side so that uh, we can add actually more charts over here and one more thing guys that uh, let's assume that if this particular uh background because it is just a plain white background so if this plain white background doesn't look good okay so what you guys can do you can definitely try to change this particular plain white background you can change this uh, particular theme and you can check take any other uh, like a color any other background okay so you can see uh, like over here we have this option called theme and layout okay Every one of you may be getting this option of theme and layout and every one of you getting this option of uh, uploading any image. Okay, so if you want to upload any image from your computer or if you want to upload any image from uh, like any uh, URL. Okay, so let's say uh, you have downloaded an uh, image of any uh, like a cell data. Okay, so you can simply go on to uh, like uh, onto the Google and you can simply write, uh, uh, let's say, uh, let you can simply write e commerce website or you can simply write Flipkart or Amazon or anything. Okay, and you can actually find out uh, maybe any uh, beautiful image onto the Google and you can download it. And you can, if you want, you can use that particular image as your background. Similarly, guys, uh, if you go on to the theme and layout, you can see we are you're getting multiple uh, like uh, themes over here. Okay, so right now we are using this theme. If you want to change this theme, if you want to uh, look at more, if you want to make it more interactive, you can actually take any other theme. Okay, so maybe I can take this particular theme. Now you can see like uh, you can see guys that uh, as soon as I have taken this theme now uh, uh like all my uh, like the values all uh, uh, automatically come inside uh, like a box and it looks uh, like uh, more better uh similarly if you want uh, let's say a kind of a black theme so you can actually click on this you will get a black theme over here if you want uh, like this theme a uh, groovy one so yes you can take this theme if you want this theme uh, like uh, again uh, with the with the black uh, with with a white color so yes you can take this theme so you can see guys that there are multiple themes uh, like a present over here uh, like a lagoon a black executive okay so there are multiple themes uh, like a present over here and it's uh, like up to you like what kind of a theme you want to use okay and you can actually use that particular theme 
so we have extract him from image so if you have like any image i told you earlier also so if you have uh, like any particular image and if you want to extract uh, uh, like a theme from there so yes you can do that okay so for a time being i will go ahead with this theme it looks uh, like a good to me so i will go ahead with this particular theme similarly guys you can see there are multiple layouts so right now we have simply explored the theme if you want to explore the, the layout so you can see there's a customized option as well so if you want uh, to change the color of your background so yes you can change the color from here you can you can see there are there are more colors okay so you can actually take any color from here uh, uh, and then uh, you can see the text style so right now that's why guys we are getting everywhere we're getting this text style which is roboto uh, if you want to change it you can change it if you want to change the background color you can change it if you have any link and from there if you want to import any image so you can import it okay so you can see that guys we have uh, like all these options over here uh, for my background color for my uh, like a text style for uh, for uh, like uh, for all the options uh, component grid style okay so for all these options guys uh, how how the chart palette look like so for all these guys we have this uh, like uh, uh, multiple options over here okay and you can actually use any of these options. Similarly, there's a layout option. So um, if you want to increase the size, so right now it's the actual width, actual size which we have taken. If you want to increase or decrease it, so right now the height of my report page, it is 900 uh, pixel, and the width of the report page, it is 1200 pixels. So if you want to change it, yes, you can change it, okay? So there are multiple settings, guys, which we can do over here. Now for a time being let's do one thing okay so let's try to uh, okay so this is how uh, this is right now my chart is and we can try to shift it like over here so that uh, uh, it should looks good and it should look like that uh, all these things are together Okay. Now this is fine, guys. Uh, you can actually make this uh, like arrangement in a much proper way because I think that still this arrangement uh, uh, is not in uh, like a proper format. But yeah, you can actually make this arrangement. Uh, it's always uh, like uh, it always can be present in a much better way. Okay. Now fine. Uh, this is how I have arranged it, and these are all my KPIs. Now, guys, I already always told you that if you want to uh, like add any filter, okay. So right now, uh, there's no filter uh, on my report, guys. So if I want to add any filter, if I want to, uh, so guys, what uh, we can do with the filter? So definitely, guys, with a filter, we can also make this thing uh, like we can also make we can always make our report a more dynamic one. Okay, so if I want to make my report a dynamic one, so what for that purpose, we can actually try to add the filter. Okay, now from where I can add the filter, so we can add the filter from here, guys. Okay, so you can see there's a there's an option called uh, add a control. Now, guys, when you click on this add a control button, so you can see there are multiple uh, like options we have. Okay, so we have the option called a drop down list. We have this option fix size list. We have this option input box. We have this option for advanced filter. Okay, so we can all we will also discuss about this advanced filter, but in tomorrow's session. After that, uh, we have this option for slider. We have this option for check boxes and all. Okay, and we have this also for date range control. Now, guys, first option. Let me first click on this drop down list. So now, guys, when we click on when I click on this drop down list, I can try to take this drop down list over here at the corner. Okay, I can try to. Uh, uh, simply this size is fine i can try to add any uh, like uh, any option over here so right now guys the option you can see by default the option uh, which is present over here it's nothing but a subcategory so right now guys we are getting the cells from uh, like uh, uh, like uh, this 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 particular cell or this particular quantity value this is actually from each category we are getting but guys, let's say if I want to see, uh, if I want to analyze only uh, like let's say one subcategory, 
So for that, what we can do, we can actually try to uh, uh, click on the subcategory and you can see there's a drop down button over here. Okay. So in this subcategory, you can see there's a drop down button. I can click on this drop down. I can, I can click on this and you can see that we are getting multiple options over here. So if I want to see that how many cells, so I can see here that we, we, we can already see the total cells which you are doing from the phones. The total cells which we are getting from the phones, it is nothing but 330,000. But along with the along with this, if you want to see that uh, how much phones I have sold, means if you want to see the quantity, if you want to see the profit, if you want to see the total number of orders, and if you want to see the total number of customers as well. Okay. So you can simply click on this phones. Just click on this phones and see the magic. Now, guys, what will happen? Now, in this chart section, you'll get only one chart. Okay, you'll get only one chart, and that chart is about the phone chart. And now, guys, you can see that over here. Okay, so now let me check, let me show you that we are getting the total cells which we are getting from the phones. Now we can actually observe that how many phones uh, like uh, we are able to sell in the last four years. So we are able to sell around three point three thousand phones. Then how much profit we are able to make from by selling the phones? That is forty four point forty four point five thousand. And then how many total orders we actually got uh, for uh, like a mobile phones? That is eight hundred eighty nine orders. And how many customers uh, who actually bought are uh, like a mobile phones that that is 500, 511. Now, guys, this this is all. These are actually all the informations we are getting. We are getting all the information regarding only one subcategory that is phones. And that is how, guys, you can actually filter out your data set. Okay, so just like guys, so when you when you when you go on any uh, like e-commerce website, let's say a Flipkart or let's say uh, like a Mintra. So if you buy, let's say. Uh, uh like a shoes okay so if i want to buy a shoes and when i go on to the mint when i go on to the like a flip card or maybe mintra so uh, uh you you want to uh you you have like uh you have some uh like a company name in in your mind okay so maybe uh you love or uh, like a puma shoes or maybe you love uh, like a nike you love maybe adidas so what you can do if you want only a branded shoes, if you don't want uh, like any uh, like a non-branded shoes or any local products. So what you can do, you can simply go on to the filter bar and you can try to filter according to the brand. OK, so I want uh, uh, I want to I want to I want to I, uh, I want that uh, Flipkart should display only the uh, branded shoes, maybe the and you can actually select that those brands uh, which you want to uh, uh, display like. Uh, uh, maybe you can try to select a Nike, Puma, Adidas, and that's it. Okay, simply, uh, similarly, if you want to, uh, to buy a mobile phone. So again, uh, you can try to make a filter over there. So you can try to make a filter that uh, uh, I want uh, like a mobile phone uh, in the range of maybe uh, 30,000 to 40,000 or 30,000 to 50,000. And then you can, uh, you can actually check out the list uh, uh, based on that filter. Okay, so now guys, this filters which you have you are uploading over here this this filter will help you to uh, uh to get only the relevant or only uh, like a specific information based on your choice based on your uh like a demand similarly guys uh so you can see like right now we are using the subcategory over here if i want to use any other uh like a column okay so if i want to use any other column uh, apart from this uh, subcategory so yes, you can use it. Okay, so I can click on this phones and uh, because uh, I again uh, we can come on to the original one. So now, guys, uh, you can actually take any other column. Like uh, you can also take the category. Okay, uh, because uh, before subcategory there's a category only. So you can actually use the category over here. Okay. So now you can see like there are there just three categories. And again, uh, now guys, you can see that if I click on technology, so uh, the phones, uh, storage, all these things will come into the tech insider technology. So there are three major categories uh, in which they are dealing in, uh, then furniture, then office supplies. So now if I click on the office supplies, 
so you can see that in the like guys now this chart will also change okay so you will get only uh, the sub category for the hope sub office supplies now you can see guys that we are getting a storage uh, so in the office supplies now you can see now if you want to see that uh, if i want to know that uh, uh like uh, in the office supplies in, in the office supplies from which category we are getting the maximum sell okay so you can see the storage uh, is a uh, like item a storage is a uh, like a sub category from which you are getting the maximum sell then binders then appliances then paper then supplies then art then envelopes then labels and lastly there's a fasteners okay so fastener is a is a sub category from which you are getting the minimum sell and storage is a sub category from which you are getting the maximum sell similarly if you uh, you can actually go on to any other sub category any other category like you can actually choose furniture so if you choose furniture you'll get only uh, chairs tables and all these uh, like uh, uh, like a uh, names over here and if you choose technology then you'll get phones uh, you'll get uh, like a uh, 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 like all the uh, like a uh, uh, sub category of uh, like a technology okay so like phones machine accessories and copiers okay so this is how guys uh, you can actually add uh, like a filter into your uh, like a report filters in your report and by adding this filters what will happen your report will become uh, like a more dynamic okay so it's not like uh, you can actually add uh, like a more filters like this like the, right now we have added the category or we have we have added uh, like a sub category if you want to add uh, like uh, maybe more filters uh, okay along with this so yes you can add even more filters uh, like over here Okay, so okay, one second. Yeah, so uh, yeah, guys, you can see there are multiple options for adding uh, like a filters. Okay, so right now we have added uh, like a category and subcategory. Uh, in the next slide, guys, when I have, I, I will show you the chart for uh, adding the map. Okay, so right now, guys, we have actually explored a very simple chart. But next time when we try to explore, uh, let's say, uh, like uh, a more advanced chart, like uh, you can see, guys, like this time we have only explored the scorecard and uh, the bar chart. We can also explore uh, like a table and pie chart. These are again the simple chart, pie chart, table chart and all. But yeah, these are some advanced chart like Google. Uh, if I want to add uh, like a map chart, if I want to add like line chart, area chart. So these are some advanced uh, like a charts. So when we add, when I add uh, like uh, this chart, guys, tomorrow, so I will show you uh, like uh, more filters. Okay. Now one more thing, guys, we can do like uh, uh, we can actually try. So you can see like the, the control. So uh, I will try to add the uh, slider and all. But uh, one more thing, we can also try to see uh, like a date range over here. So I can try to see the date date range as well. So uh, for that. Uh, uh, what we can do, we can first try to, uh, let's say, okay, so this is actually coming out from my, okay, so maybe there are a lot of things uh, open together, so it is giving me some uh, issue over here, okay, it takes some time, okay, one second, guys, it will get fixed. <laughs> okay so now you can see that uh, we are getting this uh like uh this option of uh, getting the selecting the date range it means guys now you can filter out your data on the basis of uh on on uh, you can try to filter out the data on the basis of date okay so let's say if you want uh, to get uh, let's you have a data for four years now if you want to see that uh, whatever the set uh, what what is the total cells you have made in any particular year or in this in the in the in the in the gap of two years maybe between 2015 and 2016 okay so if i want to if i want to check that so uh for uh like over there you can use this uh like a date range okay so let me use this uh it is taking some time okay one second if this is maybe not <laughs> Say okay. Let me run it again. Okay, this may happen, guys, because uh, uh, multiple things. Okay, lot of uh, like a lot of tabs are actually opened over here, so this can happen. 
Now let me really reload, it, reload it. Yeah. Now, guys, uh, I can take this date range. Now you can see that, guys, you can actually select any uh, day, like a date over here. Okay. So uh, uh, we don't have like any data for 24, 2024. Okay. One second. Let me arrange this uh, first uh, size. Okay. Arrange the size for this category so that uh, I can. Uh, fix this date also over here okay that is good now let me select the date range so now guys uh, we don't have any data for 2024 so let me directly go in the year 2016 because we have a data for 2016 and uh, we want uh, like uh, let's say i want to get uh, the cells for the last two years so from 2016 to uh 2017 okay so let me uh fix this value as 2017 and december 2017 now let's apply it okay so This is something I actually missed it out. Now let me go on to the 2017 because uh, 38 now. Now, guys, you will definitely see that the values will get changed over here. So the total cell which uh, we are getting from uh, this, uh, uh, like in this particular, uh, like a time period, okay, from January 1, 2016 to November 30, 2017. So in this time period, guys, the total cell uh, which we have done, it is 1.3 million. Uh, this is uh, the total number of products we have sell. This is the total profit we gain. And this is the total number of orders we have received. Okay. Uh, then make uh, the change. Okay. So there is, uh, okay, we don't need to make any change into the category. Now you can see guys, that this, uh, this is how you can actually see your data uh, corresponding to any date range. If you uh, simply, uh, change this value let's say if you want so right now we are checking a data for uh, let's say one year if you want to check for this year only means uh, if you want to start from january 2016 to 31 december 2016 okay so for this year only if you want to see your uh, like a data so you can see like in 2016 means in one year how how much sales i have done okay so in 2016 how much sales uh, this uh, particular website has done so they have done uh, the total sell of uh, 609.2 thousand the total uh, like a product they have sell is actually sold which is uh, 9.8 thousand total profit is 81.8 thousand total number of orders are uh, like uh, uh, 2587 2587 and total number of customers uh, is nothing but 638 okay so yeah, guys, this is how you can actually get the uh, if you can actually get uh, like a data in any particular date range. Okay, uh, and uh, along with this uh, date range, if you want to get uh, the um, uh, if you want to see that in that particular date range means in in this in that particular period, if you want to see that how many how much sales you have done only from the technology category. So yes, you can get that as well. Okay, so in this way, guys, you can actually add. Uh, now this, uh, this, all these options, guys, which is uh, which you can actually getting uh, like into this control bar. Okay, so you can see that all these options are present in 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 this uh, control bar where I can do add a control. So all these options, guys, which is actually present in this control bar, which you are getting from this control bar, these options will actually help you to make your report a dynamic one. Okay, so if you want to make your report a dynamic one at any point of a time, so you can go on to this control bar and you can actually uh, take any uh, particular, uh, you can actually add any uh, like a filter from here. Okay, so the filter can be uh, like, a, it can be a drop down list, it can be a fixed size list and it can be anything. Okay, so we discuss, I told you uh, guys that we discuss about uh, the advanced filter, the slider, uh, like in tomorrow's session. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, these are all the things you can actually see right now, like over here. Okay.
uh, along with this guys uh, so uh, like i to like in the bar chart guys you can see that we have added uh, actually uh, like where where the number of categories or number of classes are more so if the number of classes are more i can use the bar chart and guys if you if you have uh, like less number of categories okay in your column if you have less number of categories if you have less number of uh, like classes so in that case guys you can actually use a uh, okay why did this uh, disappear so can actually use uh, maybe uh, uh, like a pie chart okay so if you have less number of classes so you can also use a pie chart okay so uh, like uh, you can go over here and you can use a pie chart okay also along with the pie chart guys you can see you have option for a donut chart as well okay so if i want to add a, let's say the pie chart so yes we can add it so we can try to add a pie chart i can try to bring it over here and for a time being guys uh, it's a sub category over here but i don't want uh, like a sub category i want to add a no guys always remember that with a pie chart let's always try to take uh, uh, the column uh, which is actually having less number of categories okay so maybe i can take this segment okay because in a segment there are uh, like a less number of uh, like a classes so you can see there are just three segments uh, we have uh, one segment as consumer, the second segment as corporate, and the third segment is a home offices. Now you can see that uh, from this segment, we are getting maximum sale. So it's a consumer segment from which we are getting the maximum sale. Then uh, there's a, okay, so. Uh, there's a world segment uh, consumer from which we are getting maximum sale. From a corporate segment, we are getting uh, like a thirty-four percent sell, and from home offices, we are getting seventeen percent sell. Okay. So you can also try to increase this uh, the size of the pie. So you can try to arrange it first, and then you can try to increase the size of the pie, and you can observe this particular values in a much better way. You can now increase the size of the pie. Let's try to increase this in both the direction and now you can try to observe it in a much better way okay so you can now uh okay so from here uh, uh things are disappear okay so we can try to Yeah, that's okay, guys. Okay, so just yeah, now it is fine. We are getting these uh, values over here. And so, yeah, guys, these these adjustments sometimes takes a time, and uh, uh, but yeah, you have to give this time if you want to make your report uh, like a more attractive and uh, uh, more useful. Okay, so you have to give this much of time. Okay, uh, oh, one more thing, guys, maybe this is right now uh, not arranged in a like a proper order. So right now it's a quantity. We don't want uh, like a quantity over here. We want uh, something else. Uh, so we want uh, the cells. So now you can take the cells over here, and now it is good. Uh, and uh, yeah, and right now, guys, uh, just try to understand that uh, we have this data uh, for uh, like uh, January one, two thousand sixteen to December thirty one, two thousand sixteen. Okay, so whatever the values you are checking over here. So because if you remember, guys, earlier uh, the maximum sell is actually coming from the phones, but now phones actually come on to the second position because uh, it 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 is actually because uh, in the year 2016 the maximum sell is actually come from the chairs after that we have phones after that we have tables and so on so forth 
okay similarly guys this entire value this entire uh, like uh, percentage distribution so because pie chart will always give me the percentage distribution of my data set okay so uh, now this pie chart is actually giving me the percentage distribution so this again this percentage distribution is regarding uh, uh re regarding the year 2016 okay this is not regarding uh, like uh, the every year this is actually uh, this is not regarding from the entire four year this is regarding 2016 only and again guys if you want to change the style so if you want it uh, much better so yeah you can change the style so now this way it looks more more better okay and you can also change uh, like uh, this uh, color maybe because uh, this is like a single color option we have if you want to change the color so yes uh, you have these uh, like options over here you can definitely change the color okay so yeah uh, it's up to you like how you can uh, actually use this color uh, uh, you can definitely change it okay so you can also try to make it in this way okay so all these things are actually possible guys over here so yeah if you want to change uh, like color for any slice so yes you can change the color over here okay. right now we are getting the percentage if you want is uh, along with the percentage let's say if you don't want the percentage if you want the label so you can get the label if you want uh, the value you'll get the value okay but yeah guys uh, definitely uh, percentage is a much better uh, like option in comparison to a value or in comparison to a uh, like a label okay so fine guys this uh, again from here you can change the style you can change the color you can uh, uh, take it on the basis of dimension color you can take it on the basis of slice order and so on okay uh, now again guys i'm telling you the same thing that it is actually on the basis of the state okay so we are getting this entire uh, like a filter on the basis of the state so if you don't want to uh, uh, like uh, on, on the basis of the state so you can change it okay so you can see that uh, we have another we have so many other options like from the last seven days but yeah definitely this data is not guys uh, uh, is uh, the the uh, the maximum uh, we have the data till uh, only till 2017 okay so definitely we cannot uh, uh, make it yesterday today or anything so yeah that's why i'm not able to change it okay but now guys i think today we have learned that how you can add uh, like any uh, like a charts into our uh, like a report so yeah i think we have discussed maybe a few basic charts like pie chart uh, then uh, uh, like a bar chart then scorecard and we discussed that how we can add uh, like a multiple filters okay so you can see that we can add multiple filters based on multiple categories multiple columns and we can also add a filter based on uh, like a date range okay so fine guys uh, these are uh, these are uh, like uh, these are the uh, these are the learnings for uh, like a today's session now as uh, if, if if you go onto your uh, like a uh, if you go through this link uh, this uh, all in one documentation link so you'll 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 also get uh, like uh, this uh, uh, like a file uh, the file on which i am working okay so you'll get this file over there if you want this report so this report uh, also you'll get over there and along with that guys you can also see that what are all the topics we are going to cover in the next day okay uh, means tomorrow okay so if you uh, you can also try to uh, like a uh, practice it guys along with this uh, uh, through this uh, like uh, with this data set and you can try to practice along with the like a different kind of a styling so that uh, 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 the next two days will be uh, more uh, interesting and uh, we will uh, like uh, enjoy more in the next two days okay so uh, fine guys uh, that's it for today uh, i will upload the data set and i will upload this particular uh, like a sample report for you and uh, try to uh, try to explore it guys as much as you explore it you will definitely feel it uh, you will you will definitely uh, feel much better you will definitely uh, uh, able to enjoy this uh, uh, like a tool guys okay so yeah just try to explore it at your end as well okay and then you are definitely able to enjoy it okay so that's fine guys that's it for today thank you so much tomorrow we are going to we'll discuss more advanced charts we are going to explore uh, more advanced filter option we are going to explore uh, like uh, uh, something called as blending we are going to explore that how we can add extra field or extra columns into our data sets so we are going to explore all these things in our tomorrow session thank you guys so thanks a lot have a good day bye bye good night guys good night to all of you